This is Robert Kraft, and I'm coming to you live on SNN Live, and we're at the Bio CEO and Investor Conference 2019 in New York. With me right now is Vered Kaplan from Orgenesis. It's a publicly traded company. The symbol is O-R-G-S. Vered, welcome back to SNN Live. Thank you for having me here again. It's always great to talk to you guys and update about what we're doing. It's great to have you back. So for our audience, let's start off with an overview of the company, and then we'll go from there. Okay, so well, Genesis, if you remember, our focus is industrializing cell and gene therapies, doing this in a service mode and in a collaborative mode with researchers all over the world. So it's been about, I think, three years actually since we last had you on here. So rather than getting the full three years, what's going on, let's get an update in terms of some of the highlights in the last, let's say, six to 12 months. Okay, so... If we look at the last year, it's been an exciting year for us. We opened up a, a new facility, if you remember. Uh, we work in the service business. We work with great companies who are developing amazing therapies in the cell and gene therapy areas. Companies like CRISPR, IOVANCE, Adaptimmune. And what we do for these companies, we develop the therapies, we manufacture for them, we deliver these unique living drugs to patients. It's an exciting time in the world with CAR T, immune oncology hitting the headlines, with new cures actually enabling cure therapeutic um, break, I'd say breakthroughs in oncology, which have been exciting for everyone. But the role of industrialization is now becoming more and more obvious. Everybody understands it's great to have a therapy, but if it's costing $500,000 per, per patient, we're not getting there. So that's our role. So we do this as a service. We've opened up a new facility in Belgium, uh, expanded the existing one. We have uh, now starting our facility in Texas. Uh, the one in Korea opened up, a new one in Israel. So we're really growing very quickly, all globally, because our intention is to provide these therapies globally. We've also expanded our activity on our point of cure program, where we are actually working with therapies in a partnership mode, getting these therapies to patients through development work actually at the health facilities. So we've spoken in the past about our diabetic therapy, but now we have new exciting programs coming in. Well, I'm going to get to those programs in just a minute because I also want to, for those who may have missed our first interview, you know, get that summary of exactly, you know, that two or three sentence summary of exactly what Orgenesis does. So... This new wave of cell therapies, that's what we do. We take cells from the body, we manipulate them. We manipulate them genetically, epigenetically, depending on which therapy. If we're looking about our internal therapeutic program, we have a very exciting program where we take liver cells from a patient and we re-educate, we re-program these cells to make them insulin producing and glucose sensitive. That's trans differentiation. It's a new technology. We're developing this therapy so we can treat patients for diabetes who don't have a functioning pancreas. That's one example. Another example we just lately spoke about and are now advancing to a clinical stage is taking a subset of unique cells in the liver, in core tissue, where you can use them as actually a replacement for a bone marrow transplantation. This is just two examples. We also have a lot of activity around T cells. And technologies that allows you to make T-cells in a more efficient manner. Uh, so that's kind of for more internal collaborative programs, but our focus is really on these therapies that are autologous. Autologous means you take the tissues from the patient itself, you manipulate, you give back to the patient. It's a personalized therapy. We believe these therapies can be co-developed in the hospital, in the healthcare setting, using the unique technologies we are developing. All right. So let's learn a little bit more about the internal programs that you have going on. Tell me what stage are we at, where are we at in that development? Our autologous therapies are preclinical, and we believe that, you know, the challenge, the biggest challenge, and we've seen this in immune oncology, um, and we're very lucky to be part of this industry in the immune oncology on the service side and, and, and enjoy, you know, the, the, the huge jump in this industry. But again, in order to get these therapies to patients and a reasonable cost, you have to start early. You can't start thinking of, about industrialization at a later stage. That's why it's so important for us to partner at an early stage, at a preclinical stage, where we can really make a difference. We can really bring our innovation into action. And then you can validate, while you're doing your clinical trials, these new ways to make these drugs. So, so actually, I want to ask about that. So you brought up an interesting point, how you're trying to get in with these companies a bit earlier in their life cycles in order to help them with 
industrialization. Right, industrialization of right. Development. So why 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 is that an issue right now? Then why why is it that you know for companies that like yours and maybe some of your peers are working with them in the later stages as opposed to going to them earlier? Does it make sense? Because do they need industrialization earlier in their life cycles? So when you think about making a living dog. Okay. Usually when you make a dog, you finish the manufacturing process and then you sterilize it, right? Mm -hmm. You can't do that with a living dog. You need the living cells. So you make this in clean rooms, very expensive procedure. If you want to make the whole procedure in a closed system where you don't actually have to have the people working in the, close, in the clean room, if you, don't, if you want to have an automated procedure, you really have to characterize these cells very early on. You have to make sure you know what goes on with these cells every step of the manufacturing process. And if you do it at an early enough stage, you can validate that the things you are testing, the way you are looking at these cells, is actually the correct way while you're doing your clinical development. So while you're doing, so even let's say they have to make some alterations to the, the, the therapy itself, earlier on it's probably easier then yes. because you already have that industrialization component there, correct? Yes, exactly. It's very difficult once you've finished and validated your therapy if you don't know actually to define what you've actually been making. This is biology. It's much more difficult to characterize a living cell than it is, let's say, a piece of plastic or a chemical component, right? So then, you know, I, I also want to know, what, what, what would you say makes the company then unique when compared to your peers? So if we look at companies in this space, you have other service companies, and they come, I think, from the recombinant industry. They're used to big stainless steel equipment, and they're trying to adapt to an industry that works very small scale and personalized. It's, it's a huge jump for them. We came from this industry. We evolved into this industry. Our focus is cell and gene therapies. We don't come from another industry. The other issue is when you look at therapeutic development, we have put a focus on industrializing, on technologies that allow you to make these drugs. So even if you have an incredible researcher that's developed an amazing therapy to cure diabetes, to cure cancer, he cannot be expected to focus on the industrial area. That's our job. So through this partnership, we can actually allow these biological miracles, which they are in terms of just scientific uh, activity, we can allow them to become something practical and reasonably priced that can be available to patients. So is that industrialization process protected? Do you have IP around that? We have a lot of IP. We've licensed a tremendous amount of technologies, uh, different bioreactor systems, different sensors, different media, different types of, uh, I'd say, testing and sensor systems that allow us to really focus on what these cells are doing. And we also have tremendous know-how of how to define these cells with the QC, the quality control. This is all, you know, this is turning an art into an industry. And that's our goal, to make these therapies industrial, to make them available anywhere in the world. And what's your background? I mean, how did you come into all this? So I have uh, my, my education is engineering, uh, mechanical, biomedical engineering. I've been very fortunate uh, to come from a, a place where there's a tremendous amount of innovation in Israel. And I've worked with many, many technologies getting them from a very early stage to actually to patients to the market. And I think uh, one of the beautiful things about cell and gene therapy, not only for me, but for anyone who's been in the biotech industry, is it actually lets you bring to practice so many different aspects of knowledge, right? It's the biology, it's the mechanics, it's the electronics, it's the chemistry. And all of that comes together when we make these living drugs that really are making a change in medicine today. And then from what you can tell me, what are some of the company's growth drivers now moving forward? So, you know, we've been really, our goal has been to kind of more or less double our revenue every year. That's our hope. That's what we hope to achieve. Uh, you know, it's been a tremendous growth. I mean, just in terms of people, we're over 200 people today. Uh, we've accumulated a tremendous amount of know-how and expertise and capacity. I think we have tremendous capacity. So if we look at what we've achieved uh, just for the last year, for about $10 million in revenue with five clean rooms, if we're talking about having this year already ready in place almost 15 clean rooms, that shows us where you can go. And, you know, we'll soon have our annual report and... I think we can be proud of ourselves as a company, of what we achieve, and I'm certainly very proud of every person in the company and their dedication to get these drugs out to patients. 
And where can our audience go and find more information about Orgenesis? Well, they can certainly go to our website, www.orgenesis.com, and uh, O-R-G-E-N. S I S, uh, and of course they can go to our public filings, which we try to really say as much as we can, so they can learn about us. My name is Robert Kraft, and I'm coming to you live on SNN Live, and we're at the Bio CEO and Investor Conference 2019 in New York. With me again has been Vered Kaplan from Orgenesis, publicly traded company. The symbol is O R G S. Vered, always a pleasure. Thank you so much.